Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of The Back Pages. We obviously we discuss the back pages, you know, it's a bit simple. Um, before we get into please subscribe and like, and for all the way, let's get into it. Uh, this is from the Daily Record first, we'll go from that first, and I've got a wee bit on my phone as well. So, I'll show you it first, guys. There you go, it's all about the Saint Salt of the Perth. Um, St. John, St. Mineral 1, St. John, St. 2. Uh, the manager, Calum Davidson, says, I'll be on the last for the six weeks if my Sainties win the cup double. So they win the cup double, they, they might win the cup double. Uh, they are against a tough hip side though. Callum Davidson admits he's ready to go away wall this summer if St Johnson serve up a trophy double with Scottish Cup board against Hibs. The Perth boss watched his Covid ra um, ravaged squad book a May 22nd meeting with Gaster Roadside after two two quick fire second half strikes from Chris Kane and Glenn Mid Middleton sank St Mirren. With the Betfred Cup already secured Saints have the chance to become the, the first side out with the old firm to lift two. Um, we've got a wee bit at the top. Um, Paul, ha Paul, Hanlon, mm -hmm. Paul Hanlon says, Scottish Cup final bound. Hibs have silenced critics who questioned their big match portal. Jack Ross's side easily saw off Dundee United 2-0 in Saturday's semi to book a return to Hamden to face at Johnson on May the 22nd. We've got a wee bit at the side worried about that, why not? Um, Coy State, uh, Al McCoy saying call up Greg's uh, Greg, uh, Al McGregor for the Euros. Al McCoy's reckon Steve Clark should ask Al McGregor if he fancies a Scotland return for the Euro the Euro twenty twenty finals. Then just keep her as a dazzling campaign for his club and, a, and and as a player of the year candidate after helping Gerard side obviously this season with win the league. Um move on a wee bit of my phone, um and all a wee bit of story. Obviously it's the main title of the video. Um, it's all about Conor, Mag um, Conor McGregor and Dermot Desmond, you know. Um, so, let me just get a wee bit, I was going to read a bit for you. Uh, Conor McGregor says he has had conversation over buying stake in club from Dermot Desmond. Conor McGregor took the quarter to state his interest in investing in a football club, which Celtic and Manchester United in his sights. Dermot Desmond is a Scottish club club's majority shareholder and said in March he did he did not want to sell. Um, Conor McGregor has claimed that he held talks uh, about buying a stake in Celtic from their principal shareholder Dermot Desmond. McGregor, who has pre previously been pictured in a Celtic shirt, that was given to him by the side's former defender Kieran Tierney made a rele uh, revelation when responding to a question on Twitter. He wrote, A conversation came up regarding uh, Celtic first, to be honest, uh, to acquire shares from Dermot Desmond. I am certainly interested in acquiring a sport team at the some stage. Both Celtic and Man United are teams I'd like for sure, but I, I am open. I feel I could do big things for a, a, a club. Um, so, you know, it's good to see that. Um, I mean, it's interesting. Conor McGregor, you know, potentially a shareholder could be in Celtic, but I don't think it'll happen, but good wee story, eh? Dem Desmond first invested in Celtic in the 1990s and said in March that he, his shares were not for sale. The Irish businessman and financer previously held shares in Man United before the club was acquired by the Glazer family. Um, McGregor has also stated his interest in buying the Premier League club. Tweeting last month, hey guys, I'm thinking about buying Manchester United, what do you think? Last month, um... Blah blah blah. Uh, I got no ignorance. McGregor is one of the biggest stars in UFC and returned uh, to Octagon in January against Dustin uh, Puyo. You know what I mean? Uh, the Dustin guy. Um, I remember that fight back in January. Uh, after a year away, the Irish wing was beaten on that occasion, but will have the chance to adventure as well as when he, when the two men meet for a third time in Las Vegas in July. Um, so that's it, really. That is it. But it's very interesting to see, you know, Alexa Conor McGregor ch um, talking about ch buying shares and obviously not just Celtic but Man United as well. Very interesting stuff. Um, that is very. In I I've got to say again, it's interesting to see Conor McGregor talking about. Um, I, I got a tweet from him. Um, and I saved the tweet. He said. Um, where is it? Well, I can't find it, but it was basically what I said in the it was the back pages, but it was on my phone. Um, I, I maybe it's a bit 
you know, taking a bit too far, saying oh, we might be buying it. But yeah, he's interested in, um, you know, maybe Dermot Desmond might be more interested, maybe now coming. I don't, I don't see where it's going to go from here, to be honest. Um, you know, maybe Con McGinnis might take it a bit more further and um, maybe go further and keep asking Dermot Desmond if you, you know, he wants to invest, um, be a part of Celtic, you know, a share in it. Or even Man United, you know. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. It's just a, um, I know a return of the back pages. Finally, we got the back pages back. It was a, it was a while before we had them back, but hopefully I've enjoyed them, guys, and I'll see you guys, um, for another video soon, which is probably, um, probably Wednesday night. Uh, no, t tomorrow night actually, guys, um, for the preview of the last game, um, at Celtic Park for Scott Brown. Um, the second last game of the season, just near the end of the season, can't wait, and I will see you guys then, until then guys, peace.